Hello, grade 10s. We have covered a lot of work on exponents so far. Now it's time to see if you've been paying attention. I'm going to hand you over to George, who will test your knowledge in our exponential game show. Hello, hello there. My name is George, and welcome to the exponential game show. I am here to see if you really know your stuff. If I could, I would offer grand prizes at this stage, but hopefully your prize will be high marks in the next test you write on exponents. I'm going to give you multiple choice questions with three possible answers. You must select the correct one. You might want to use a piece of paper and a pen to do the calculations, but for most of this, you should not need it. Let's get started. Here is number one. A to the power of 4 multiplied by B to the power of 4 multiplied by A to the power of 2. And here are three possible answers. Which one is correct? Did you add 2 and 4 to get A to the power of 6 multiplied by B to the power of 4? Is it enough? Let's move on to the next question. A to the power of 4 multiplied by B all divided by A multiplied by B. And here are three possible answers. Which one is correct? This was easy, right? Let me show you. You subtract the exponents of the A's and cancel the B on the top and on the bottom. Then you're left with A to the power of 3. Told you it was easy. How about this one? A to the power of negative 2 multiplied by A to the power of 3. Can you tell me which one is correct? one if you know your exponential laws. When we multiply the powers of the same base, we just add the exponents and then the answer will be A. Let's continue. A to the power of negative 2 divided by A to the power of 3. <laughs> Think carefully. did it go this time? Did you get a to the power of 5 as your answer? No, no, no. When you divide the powers of the same base, you subtract the exponents. So the correct one is 1 divided by a to the power of 5. Try this one. 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of 3x. Go on, give it a go. did you do? Can you see that it's straightforward subtraction of the exponents? So the answer for this one is 1 divided by 3 to the power of 2x. How many did you get right so far? I'm sure you're doing good. Well, I hope you managed to get all the answers right so far. Now for something a little more challenging before we go back to George. Write this question down. Simplify. 2 times xy squared, z, all divided by 6 times x to the power negative 2, y squared, z squared. And write your answer with positive exponents. Let's start with the coefficients. 6 is equal to 2 times 3. 2 in the numerator can cancel with 2 in the denominator. Now we can apply our laws for exponents. Remember when we divide powers with the same bases, we subtract the exponents. So we get x to the power of 1 minus negative 2 times y to the power of 2. Subtract 2 times z to the power of 1 minus 2 over 3. We can simplify to get x to the power of 3 times y to the power of 0 times z to the power negative 1 all over 3. 
But we are not done yet, because the question asked us to write the answer with positive exponents. Therefore, x to the power of 3 stays the same. y to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And we take the z to the power negative 1 to the denominator. So it becomes z to the power of positive 1. So we get x cubed over 3z. Now let's cross back to George. Ready for another one? 2m to the power of 2, all to the power of 3. Does raising to a power sound familiar to you? Did you remember to raise each factor in the brackets to the power of 3? If you did, you would get 8m to the power of 6. Don't forget that the 2 is cubed and you have to multiply the exponents 2 and 3, not add them. Having fun? Take a close look at this one. 2m all to the power of 0. Seen this before? seen this one before. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So the answer for this one is 1. The next one might look similar to this one, but take a careful look. 2 multiplied by m to the power of 0. This is your last chance. notice the difference? The 2m is not in brackets, so only the m is raised to the power of 0. And remember, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this is the same as 2 multiplied by 1, which gives us an answer of 2. Oh no, we've run out of time again. I hope you've enjoyed the quiz with me, George. Until next time, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed our game show and that you can now apply the laws for multiplying and dividing exponents, negative and zero powers, and raising a power to a power. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned so far by trying the exponents tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.